Stop right there, Timmy. You don't have to eat that burger. There is an alternative. Since the beginning of time, man has been driven by our instinct to hunt and kill. In this day and age, however, man has evolved past that, and we now have the luxury to contemplate the ethical consequences of our actions. If the United States alone reduced its meat intake by 10%, there would be enough vegan food to feed 60 million mouths, the number of people that die of starvation each year. I'm a meat eater. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. I eat meat and vegetables. Yeah, I'll eat lots of red meat. Because I like meat, I think it's wrong to kill animals. I'm just, yeah, don't like all the processed. <laughs> I've tried to be vegetarian before, but I like dreamt about steak. Like my household was a major meat sort of family. Working through a butcher, you get turned off just knowing how the meats get processed. I guess I didn't really make the decision, I started eating meat. I enjoy eating meat. It's all hygienic, just um, what they go through from being your animal to how they end up. Just for like health, I just thought I'd give it a try. We're used to eating all sorts of things like fish and chicken and beef and like lamb and boys. There's no way to go back to just eating all beans and lentils and shit, no way. Well, I've had some friends which were like vegetarians and stuff, but basically Brussels sprouts and just sick stuff, so no, not really. Value-wise, the idea of um, vegetarianism and veganism is great. And I really support people who make that choice. And um, ideally, I'd probably like to be able to do that. But I enjoy eating meat. I stopped eating meat four years ago. Since then, I became a vegan about two years ago. And people always ask me stupid questions. They always say, Luke, what's it like being a vegan? What can you eat? What can't you eat? Is it good? Blah, 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 blah. So I thought, I don't know. You give it a try. So two people have. I eat meat because I like it, because it's good, it's tasty, because I can't only eat vegetables. When I was like three years old, you know, you've got a phase when you think about the animal rights and blah blah blah, and after you grow up and now I eat meat. I don't eat meat every day, like once every two days or something. I eat fish as well. I don't think anything about people who want to be vegan. They're a bit crazy, it's like a bit sect or something. People become vegan because... Uh, I just miss something in life maybe, I don't know. I think it's gonna be very hard for me to do this vegan diet for two weeks because I like milk, I like cheese, I like fish, I like meat, I like everything. I think I'll get it out of the way. Um, I'm not too worried. It's just um, I gotta get money together so I can go shopping beforehand. Vegans are an evil cult. I don't have meat ever for breakfast. Depends on where I am, to whether, I, whether or not I have meat for lunch. Because if, if I'm at school and I've got money, I'll go up and grab beef don from the Japanese restaurant. Um, generally, I'll just have lots of cheese at lunch. But dinner, probably at least six times in a week, I'll have meat for dinner. Um, I think if I get pissed and I'm hankering for a curry, then I think that'll be my weakest moment. Um, also, it'll really test my cooking skills because most everything I cook has meat or dairy in it so I'll have to learn on the fly how to prepare a vegan meal I guess. So we got two subjects Liam and Francois who are going to try and be vegan for about two weeks and this is what they have to do they have to cut out all animal products not just meat but dairy eggs lollies cheese certain beers all that sort of stuff and we're going to see how they go I think they'll be all right. All right, so uh, here we are. Um, let's go shopping. <laughs> Just
Just to be sure our boys were doing things right, I ran them through the foods to eat, as advised by our nutritionist. You need your protein, you need your iron, and you need your minerals. Your minerals you'll find in all your fruit and vegetables, they also contain lots of fibre. The iron and the protein will come from things like soybeans, and there's meat replacers like tofu, veggie dogs, all that kind of stuff. And um, then another source of uh, protein and fibre is your legumes, like your peanuts and your nuts and grains, like pistachios and almonds are good, and pumpkin seeds are also great. What the vegan diet consists of is a diet with no animal products whatsoever. It's different to vegetarianism. It means you can't eat any dairy, such as cheese. You can't eat any other animal products, like, ge like gelatin, which you'll find in the lollies. You can't eat any meat whatsoever. No chips cooked in oil, nothing like that. Vegetable oil is fine, stay away from the lard. Now what you need to keep a balanced diet is you need your protein, you need your iron, and you need your vitamins and minerals and your fiber and things like that. And fruit and vegetables, they'll give you a lot of minerals, a lot of vitamins, fiber, things like that. Uh, your nuts and your grains are very good for protein and fiber. And soybeans is one of the best sources of iron and protein for a vegetarian. The things you can't eat being a vegan is you can't eat things like cheese, obviously because it's dairy and it's got rennet in it, which is an enzyme they use to curdle the milk which is made out of the stomach lining of baby cows. You can't eat lollies, because most of them contain gelatin, which is a sort of powdery substance used to make that jelly formation that they make from the ligaments and bones of cows. And another thing you can't drink... BB. <coughs> it's okay, Francois. It's not all beers. You can drink beers like 4X. A lot of beers, for example those brewed by Carlton and United, are filtered with a substance called isinglass, also known as finings, which is made from the bladders of fish. However, some brewers like Lion Nathan brew their beers without any animal products at all. To make it a little easier on Francois, I'm going to show him how to uh, whip up a few things with um, everything you need. So, are you ready Francois? Let's cook. <laughs> The dairy industry is not just about milk. Dairy cows are not kept on farms and allowed to graze whenever they want. They are pumped full of hormones and constantly impregnated for seven years until they are killed. The calves produced are then taken from their mothers and slaughtered and their guts ripped out to make veal and cheese. Well if you, if you do choose to cut out all animal products, there's a few benefits that they've found. Um, it is a very restrictive diet, let me start off like that. but the benefits are you usually have a lower energy intake so basically less calories are going in so um, people who tend to follow that sort of diet tend to be a healthier body weight and with 60% of Australians overweight or obese that, that's, that's quite a um, good um, thing to do also um, lower cholesterol levels all your blood fats are actually give better value so you're less likely to get heart disease um, or, or develop the complications from that. Less likely to develop type 2 diabetes. Certain types of cancers like breast and colon cancer, um, there's much lower incidences of, of those things. Actually all cancers in general um, benefit from a higher intake of fruit and vegetables and most Australians don't get their serves of fruit and vegetables a day so even if you don't go totally vegan, increasing your fruit and vegetable intake is, is recommended for everyone. Um, there's also benefits with increasing your fibre intake because basically a vegan diet is very, very high fibre so you're going to have no problems with your regularity um, and also um, problems like diverticulitis and things like that. So on the whole, um, you definitely have a very healthy diet but it is also very easy, easy to become iron deficient and also deficient in B12 particularly because you can only get B12 from animal products. Hey, this is um, day one of the vegan experience and um, just woke up and gonna get started. Not too hungry at the moment and got home last night after work and had some scotch fillets and they were fantastic. So that's the uh, last supper and we'll see how I go from here. I'll keep you informed.
Hello, this is my video diary. And this is what I'm going to eat tonight. So, you can see it's uh, hot dogs but with soya. It's like some people actually designed stuff to look like meat, but which are not meat more expensive and less taste but I suppose more conscious I haven't tested tried yet so I don't know what it tastes oh. my switch to veganism was of course ethical um, and, and after just being absolutely horrified about the, you know the truth behind meat production and, and dairy and all the rest of it day four it's beginning to wear down on me now um, I was really hungry all day, but um, I went to work tonight, and we were talking about piercings, and one of the girls I work with brought up the fact that she has 19 piercings, and um, had to show me two of them, and it worked really well as a, you know, uh, what, do you, what do you call it, but I didn't need to eat anymore, put it that way, um, yeah, I'm cutting back on the amount I'm eating, but I don't know, just because of my limited cooking repertoire. Good night. This morning I had this. This, 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 what the fuck is this? This. this. Which is so fillets, which means some people design. Food to look like fillets as well. It tastes alright, like it almost tastes like a real fillet, but it's not as good and more expensive. And yeah, so I had as well a falaf falafel kebab. Luke told me that I could, like when I was nearly dying yesterday, because at the beginning I was eating only tomatoes and mushrooms. The difference there, I mean, of course, I. I I became vegetarian because I didn't want to cause animal suffering every time I ate. I didn't think I was all important that every time I chose to eat, you know, an animal should be sacrificed or should die or should suffer for, for, for my taste. It just didn't make any sense. Hey, I, th I think this lack of meat and good dairy products is having effects on my hormones. For dramatic effect, I'll show you. Duh. I suppose spreading the word of veganism and whatnot is, is one way of doing that. And I wouldn't be doing that if I didn't think it would make a difference. And I mean, I'm not a statistician or what have you, but um, the statistics do, do show that veganism and vegetarianism and, and awareness of, of animal rights and things like that is on the increase. I mean, 20 years ago, people didn't even know what vegetarian was, <laughs> you know, let alone, let alone animal rights. But um, now it's, it's quite common knowledge, at least. And it's much, much easier, even just in the last three or four or five years to, to find you know, good vegetarian food when you go out to a cafe or, or to the supermarket, things like this, and it's becoming easier and easier. Yeah, so it's not really, really interesting, I don't have much to say. Uh, it's kind of boring life, vegan life. Uh, yeah, it doesn't change much than when I eat meat, actually. I just enjoy more meat now, I think, that I, now that I didn't eat meat for woo, five days, I will enjoy it more, and milk as well, and real yogurt, soy yogurt, I had soy yogurt, disgusting, really, really, really disgusting, milk, I tried, ah. that. so milk, I tried these ones, Hot milk. This was the second day. First day I tried this one. So this is hot milk. Second day. 
First day I tried this one, was the dream. Rice milk, disgusting. Uh, I tried the soy milk as well, but I think I threw it already. Uh, yes, I think I don't have it anymore. And this morning I tried this one. So all of them are <coughs> full. Like you can hear. I don't drink them. I drink one bowl and that was it. And today I tried this one which was alright. It's like fake milk because it's soy milk with the uh, fake chocolate as well, I suppose. Just came home and I'm feeling like shit. I feel like I'm about to lose my guts and Animal processing and livestock production uses so many resources that if we'd all eat vegan, we'd have enough grains and soybeans to feed the world fourfold, six times as much corn, and twenty times as many oats. I think I got through it alright, but I didn't do it the way I expected I would. I um, thought I'd eat a lot healthier stuff, but in the end I just ate a lot of oily stuff that wasn't meaty or cheesy or milky or... All the vegan stuff, but greasy stuff. Very good, very good. No, it wasn't easy, no. I did cheat in the end without knowing it, because I thought my two weeks were up, but it was one week, seven, no, one week, six days. So I didn't do the full two weeks because of a clerical error. So yeah, I kept uh, the diet for the whole two weeks. I'd never eaten anything else than vegan stuff. I feel sorry for vegans and vegetarians. They need help. They need vast quantities of goodness shoved in their mouth. Vegan food is very dry and disgusting. I don't know if I can blame it on the vegan diet, but my um, sleep habits have really been up and down. Like whether I'm going to sleep at four o'clock in the morning or waking up at six on different days, you know, so I'd say it's probably what I've been doing, but it has coincided with this whole experiment. My beliefs or ethical choices didn't change at all. I thought in the process of this experiment that um, I would lose energy a lot more, but it didn't affect me at all. No, I won't turn to veganism and uh, it didn't have any effect on me whatsoever. Two weeks later, it was time for Francois and Liam to show me their skills in the kitchen. about what you're reading? Yes, I did. I like me goreng very much. <laughs> me goreng, me goreng. The happiness of the day. Me goreng, me goreng. You make my day. 